When Bert and Francine Levy take out home movies of the old days, they like to do it the old way. This you got a thread and hope the film don't break. Oh, see? There we go. Now, not everybody gets a chance like this to see the Levy's home movies. When they know it's home movies, all of a sudden everybody's very busy. Action. Action. But still, you have to admit, it's fun to see how things have changed since 1943, when the only tourists you saw on Miami Beach were in World War II uniform. Well, this was wartime. This was wartime. Soldiers used to march and parade and practice drill on Collins Avenue. Because they had a built-in barracks. They just came down, and here were all these hotels with thousands of uh, rooms, empty rooms, and it was perfect for the, uh, for the Army. Yep, leave it to the Army to take over a tropical skyline like this. And even now, 45 years later, it's still a nice skyline here on Collins Avenue. Of course, now it's mostly condominiums, and they're not filled with soldiers anymore either. They're filled with tourists. But back then, there were some pretty famous soldiers here. Clark Gable trained here, Jimmy Stewart, Tony Martin, all, you know, um, they were all here. And uh, it was a big, big training base here. But everything else was much smaller, more simple in the 40s, like the time Francine's father flew into Miami International Airport before it moved. The Great Silver Fleet. Who was oh, that, Eastern Airlines. Eastern Airlines, the Great Silver Fleet. T said Miami Airport. 20th Street Airport, and that was the old, old airport. In fact, the old terminal's still here. It's now the uh, personnel office for Eastern Airlines. They've even added something new, an automatic cash machine. I don't think they had one of those back then. It's a real uh, grown-up city now. Yes, Miami has grown up, and leave it to the Levies to prove it in their home movies. Ah, John Holden, News 4.